fam, I'm back again, bopping with Oak. Today I'm here with my boy Tyree Paladon Bindum. He's a cool cat who I've uh, recently met. He's a cool producer. He's doing a lot of stuff with music, with radio, and with reaching out to the community. We've had a conversation recently about each individual man's walk. And so, uh, Tyree, welcome. Tell us a little bit about that. Man, first of all, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to sit on this side of the microphone. As you know, I do a lot of interviews mm -hmm. uh, with my talk show, Core Issues, that's uh, every week. Some of the things that I've been really focused on for the past, really almost like a year, is really trying to, to understand that each person is unique and that there's no other person like you. And so I've always edified that. So, so to be able to sit down and talk to you about this, man, it's a beautiful thing. Cool. So I've heard you actually say it as a different walk, same destination. So just tell me a little about it. What does it mean for each individual to have their own walk, but the same destination? You know, when we look at ourselves, normally we just focus on just our life. And, and sometimes we don't even think about, you know, that, that it's more than that. But when we, when we get a chance to expand, then we see our family. And then we see the families going back to the first family. And we start to expand that and kind of to see our culture, we see our race, to see the species. And, and once you expand to that level, man, it really just opens you up. But when you see that, it brings you back to see how much of an individual you are, how special you are. You start to build and figure out purpose and meaning and those things. So each one of us is so, uh, so special. Mm -hmm. You might have people with the same name. You might have people with the, that, that look, but you might have a twin. That's what that, that phrase means to me. And trying to get people to, to understand and appreciate that and see that and build from that, I think is gonna help all of us to get to a point where we walk together. Okay, so I think as a community, like in this country, we have a pretty good understanding of uh, individual, right? And maybe it's even an unhealthy understanding of individual. So like each individual has their own driveway, each individual has their own car, each individual in fact now has to have their own all of these things. But very seldom have I connected that to the same destination. So elaborate a little bit on my kind of like I don't know, man, like, how does that actually play? You know, how do we, how do we play as individuals and, and then still actually collaborate? Yeah, I see most people are stuck into the mass mentality. The phrases that people use, the terms that they use, um, the behaviors that they exhibit, the trends that they follow, even down to the names of our car, we piggyback and, and take in so many things that it's almost like we don't even really know the history uh, of the things that comprise and make us who we are. And so, you know, it's a lot to do with marketing. It's a lot to do with, with capitalism. It's a lot to do with so many different forces that try to, that try to erode at the family unit as just, just one household and also the family unit as a species. Because there's only one, one species. You know, there's over 10,000 different species of mosquitoes. It's just one species of human. And it's really difficult still to this day for people to see that, that that's the reality of what this life is. So it's good that you shared that viewpoint, but for a lot of the, a lot of the people that I'm talking to, a lot of the people that, I'm trying, that, uh, that are sharing their, their, their information with me, you know, I don't, I don't see it. Even though they sometimes see themselves as you know this is me hmm. but in, in the full context I, I think it's very difficult for people to really get that hmm. well for some reason I'm like trying to like really wrap my head around what does this look like practically on a day-to-day -day basis how does it play on a day-to-day -day? and also maybe like I don't know shed a little bit of light on like how you came to this conclusion how'd you come to this idea that you that you wanted to follow that let me ask you a question then what's that you know, I'm sitting here with, with the brother that I've met, um, that, that I feel like I've gotten a chance to know you. We, we've, we've worked together, we've, we've done a few things, we've Facebook friends. So we've had a chance to see, you know, good days, challenging days, different tests. Um, but who are, who are you 
as an individual? You know, what's your, what's your walk? Really interesting. Okay, well, okay, so myself as an individual has actually blurred a lot, you know, because now I'm married, I have a two-year-old little girl, and like, I don't know if I've thought about myself as an individual much in the last couple of years. But that aside, I believe that every, every individual is created noble, right? So I'm going to say that because I believe that every human being is created noble, that I'm noble. So myself as an individual, as a noble being, try to do the best that I can to live according to the principles that I believe are the principles that are universal, the principles that if I live by them, that they will actually contribute to the advancement of civilization. Like that's, that's how I want to live. If I was to whittle that down to a word, I want to, I believe that I'm a builder. As an individual, yeah. I'm a builder. Um, I build with communication. I build with trying to create relationships. I build with trying to um, work with communities because I believe that's the only way we're going to move forward. Um, a lot about what informs that for me is when I was younger, I kind of tried to break everything down into a behavior that if applied universally, like around the world, would the world become a better place, right? Mm -hmm. So I would think about like stealing, right? So we understand the nature of like hopelessness, of helplessness, mm -hmm. of poverty, of you know, desperation. Right. Like I'm familiar with that and I have a feeling you and I are f pretty, pretty similar in that way. So in that desperation, one might actually feel the urge to steal what one needs just to survive, right? And that's very often what happens. I would venture to say the majority of the crime we see has a lot to do with people not being able to meet their own needs, mm -hmm. whether they don't know how or whether they haven't had the opportunity to. So out of that desperation to steal, well, if you consider the, the, the act of stealing applied universally, well, everyone's going to get jacked at some point. Everyone's going to have something stolen from them. And that doesn't breed trust, that doesn't breed openness, that doesn't breed fellowship. All those things that we, that we believe is at the foundation of society right. really kind of breaks down just because everyone does this one thing. But for instance, if everyone's truthful, if you had a mechanic, right, if he had a business, right. and he was known throughout wherever, whatever region they serve, that they are unequivocally, they are without a doubt honest, even if it might not make them money. Good business. Good business. Good business with the bottom line not even being able to go over principle. And meaning that you will make more money if everyone knows you're honest. If, you, if I know that you're not going to steal from me, that you're not going to try and sell me a part that I don't need, that you're not going to accidentally slip and mess something up while you're doing what, I'm, what you're doing, then I'm gonna tell all my friends about you. Word of mouth. Word of mouth is a big deal. And that's, com that's the community aspect that I think is like, you know, intrinsic. It's like right at the heart right. of all the stuff. Because the community element is one thing that the individual stuff that I'm saying, like my association with the word individual mm -hmm. has a lot to do with like almost the antithesis of community. So in some ways we're gonna to have to probably go back to how that part of the individual plays into the collective because Right now, every time I think about even like myself as noble, I'm like, okay, myself as noble. Right. Well then, you know, how am I contributing to others' nobility? You know, because I can't just think about myself as noble, right? Because like, if I think about just myself as noble, well, I could be noble I want to by myself, <laughs> you know? Exactly.
may have vibrations which are not visible to the eye, but which are rapid enough to be sensed by the ear.